What is the best birth control pill to take if you're prone to acne? And which ones are actually FDA approved to treat acne? Because there's three of them. Hi, I'm Vina. I'm a board certified pharmacist practicing in the US with over 20 years of experience. I'm gonna tell you which birth control pills are best for acne and which ones to avoid. Most birth control pills, also called oral contraceptives, contain two hormones, estrogen and a progestin. A progestin is a synthetic progesterone. The estrogen in most of these is the same, but the progestin is different. They can be categorized into about four main groups. These are called first, second, third, and fourth generation. Birth control pills in the third and fourth generation are the best for acne, but there are some pros and cons. Third generation birth control pills contain the progestins, norgestimate or desogestrel. Some common names are Sprintec and Apri, but there is so many names. You can just take a screenshot of this if you wanna refer back later. Fourth generations contain a progestin called Drospyrinone, and they go by names like Yaz, Nikki, and a lot of other names. Now for the downside. Third and fourth generation pills have a little bit more risk of blood clot. And this is especially true for the fourth generation. So because of that, I would recommend sticking with the third generation pills. There is another option. You could use a first generation pill instead. They have a lower risk of blood clot compared to the third and fourth generation. A first generation birth control pill may help with acne. It probably won't make the acne worse. They're just more neutral. Common names for first generation pills are Loestrin, Haley, and Junel, and many others. I think the most important thing to do is to avoid the second generation pills. In my opinion, these are the worst for acne. The problem is that it can take months for the pill to start giving you worse acne, and so you won't realize it's the pill. You might have only had acne in your T-zone before, and then three or four months after starting the pills, you're getting acne on your cheeks now too. Second generation progestins are levonorgestrel and norgestrel. Common names for these pills are Vienva, Lutera, and the new O-pill. And you know those pills that have three months in the pack and you only have a placebo week once every three months? Those are second generation pills. They do have the very lowest risk of blood clot, but they're not good for acne prone skin. If you don't have an issue with acne, you can take these, no problem. But if acne is an issue, avoid second generation. So ladies, what you can do is go look at your birth control pill pack. Check and see what it says on the ingredients. It will probably say ethanol estradiol. That's the estrogen portion. Now, after that, what is the next word? If it's levonorgestrel or norgestrel, those are the second generation and not great for acne. Now, for the three birth control pills that are FDA approved in the US to actually treat acne. In the first generation, Estrostep FE, which is now called Trilegest FE. In the second generation, nothing. In the third generation, Orthotricycline and all its generics. And in the fourth generation, Yaz and the generics. You don't need to go to your doctor and ask for one of the birth control pills that are specifically approved to treat acne. It's because now we have so many out that are even better so treating acne and some that are even better. So you don't have to ask your doctor for one that's officially approved. So here's the take home. Progestins in the third and fourth generation are the best for acne. They contain the progestins norgestimate, desogestrel, or drospyrinone. If you want one that has a lower risk of blood clot, you can use a first generation progestin and it's usually norethindrome. Stay away from the pills that contain levonorgestrel or norgestrel. These pills are more androgenic and may actually worsen acne. If you wanna learn more about medications and supplements explained by a pharmacist, just subscribe.